downtown. Downtown K. Downtown. You about to go downtown. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, and welcome to another week's episode of Downtown Podcast. This week, we have a very, very, very special guest. And as you guys know, I've let you know that part of my background and my heritage is Jamaica, Jamaican, Spanish town. I know that's not your ends, but I have to big up my area. So we do have a very special guest with us here today, Aya Tain, okay? And you may know for, for tracks like Mama You Alone, Lose a Friend, Puff It, We Love the Vibes. He's worked with countless, countless Grammy award-winning, Grammy-nominated, just multi-talented. You're like an artist. When people say they're an artist, I don't feel like they get the true essence of the word. I really feel like you are a true artist. So thank you for that. And thank you for what you've given thank to you very much. Friday and dance hall. So welcome, everyone. I Octave. <laughs> thank you very much. That was a... That was a great intro. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I like. Yes. I really do. I really do respect the world of dancehall and reggae, and it's something yeah. I've always grown up on and been a part of. Even though I am in Canada, right? My whole entire mm-hmm. family is Jamaican, so that's something that is within my blood, whether I want it or not. So. Don't waste no time with negativity. Usually I leave this question for the end, but today I just feel like asking you here at the beginning, yes. what is a recent or a situation that you feel like was negative and you found a way to just, as I said, not waste any time with negativity and push through? Well, um, my recent situation, um, I would say, I just did a new song. I just released a new song. It named Next. Yeah. Right? And it have buzzed the girls them love it. Yeah, my dear. I've never done a song like this before where I get so much reaction from females. Really? You know, I mean, even males. Like, you know, them really into the song. Them really, you know what I mean, more interactive type of vibe. And, mm. you know, this great positive end derived from something that could be very negative, you know what I mean? So, um, turn on that, Ronis, please. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. Yes. So, so um, you know that, all right, good, good production of a rhythm out now. Um, Liquid Sunshine Rhythm. That's a huge rhythm, right? You have all type of artists on the rhythm, huge artists and Young artists, young artists like Active, Active as my daughter, young artists like Box. Yeah. So, you know, them have a feature and that, them have a feature and that really, which is Escape. I also do a collab with Kemar Icon. So, you know, it's an artist I'm work with and thing and thing. Yeah. You know, bring them to the forefront, text the show. But I did a, also did a collaboration with him, Sauce Unlimited. But um, when the rhythm come out, you know, I think Dexter that song first released because that was a single for his album. Yeah. Then the rhythm dropped shortly after. And then a few songs started to rise, like the Shanil Muir and the, and the Denik and you know, Shensia, you know, I mean, a couple other people and the rhythm started to rise. So I was saying to him, say, yeah, let's, let's promote the song, let's, let's promote the song. You know what I mean? And I was trying to promote the song, promote the song. Yeah. Because once you're on a big rhythm, Yes. Even if your song is not the first song that jumps, you yeah. have to promote your song because that rhythm is going to stay for a while. And, the, 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 you know what I mean? Consistency always, you know, give people different perspective okay. because a lot of people might not like what they're doing now, but if you're consistent with it, yeah. it will change a lot of people's perspective. You understand? So, and that's most said, of the music you know, industry as we know, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. So, so I was saying, promote the song, promote the song. I wasn't getting this, that, that, you know, the, the time and the, and the energy from it. But yeah. he's my brother, he's my, he's my good, good friend. And, you know, it's like a brother to me. So I love music. And I, I was getting in my feelings about it. Like, yo, you know, why why am I not promote? Because it's not me alone. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the, the song needs collective effort where, you know, 50-50%. You know what I mean? So we can get that hundred percent from it. So, you know what I mean? I was just doing it, doing it. And then I just give up. 
So I was only promo promoting my data song on the radio and my artist song on the radio. So I was just promoting that song. And But I'm in the US now, I'm in New York. So everywhere I go, I hear the radio. And it start to haunt me. Yeah. It haunt me, so I call him again and say, yo. You have to. You need to promote the song. You say, all right. He more link me in the link for forward. I say, all right. So when I drive again, I'm going to call him again and he never answer. And I said, okay, all right, cool. What is that? Okay. Yeah. At the time when I call him, I was going to say something to him like, yo, you know what I mean? And the last time this man called him about the song, what were I about the song? But he never answered. So, you know what I mean? You, you, you hear the rhythm. I stop once, I drive and stop at this um, stoplight in Brooklyn. And Brooklyn have a, have a series of stoplights, yeah. you know, in a particular part, right? You know, so. I was driving, somebody pulled up. I'm here to read them a play. I'm going to drive, got the next stop, like the same car, pull up the song, change. I'm going to drive, got the next stop, like the next song, and I was like, no. So while I was driving now, I hear a voice say, So why you don't voice the next song and read it? Mm. I was like, You know, the voice I said, Don't waste the energy right here. Voice the next song and read it. And I was I was like, okay. So me I drive again at the night, now me I drive again and me hear the voice there for me. Voice the next song and the rhythm. So I just call the producer and I said, yo, send the song to my, to my phone and send the rhythm to my phone. And I call the a engineer and I book a studio time and then I just go in the studio and just voice and I, and I just do a teaser on my page and it just blew up and go viral all about the place. And, and I was I was like, yo. Sometimes you have to, um, not sometimes, all the time you have to look on the glass half full, more than half empty. So I was saying on my live yesterday, I, how I feel about it in the initial stage, I was saying to Mr. G, said, right now, I want to come out, I can shake him and I say, yo, give thanks. <laughs> give thanks to any kind, I never really appear to suck the bite. Said, encourage me for do something else that even give me a better you know reaction and a better response from the people so that was one of the recent um you know situation that could spin anyway and i channel it into something positive yeah like honestly you have to bet on yourself no matter what people want to say and it's it's funny that's the situation you brought up because I recently spoke with someone and they kind of shared a similar situation where it's just kind of like the people that you work with or sometimes that are closest to you all of a sudden start moving or acting funny. And mm -hmm. they would go, oh, people get money rich and switch or you change. And it's, it's really not that at all. Sometimes it's the people on the other end. They can't, for whatever reason, sometimes you just will never know, but you just have to move forward in life and listen to that voice, so I'm very you have happy. To listen to that voice. You have to listen to that voice. And, um, I just want to say this to a lot of people out there. The changes, nothing is wrong with changes. Change is inevitable. It's a must. It has to happen. You know what I mean? You're born as a baby, a creep. That's, a, that's changes. You start to walk. That's changes that you grow, you become a teenager. That's changing. You become an adult now. You know what I mean? You start to reproduce. You know, I replay my spirit as changes. So, change is the most. Switch is a choice. Changes you can't, you can't escape from it. When somebody switch or you say somebody switch, as a choice. It's an option. You know what I mean? But change is not a choice. It inevitably, it has to happen. So, in all bad situations, there is good from it. If you really look and, and channel both areas, if you really look. All bad situations. Because even if... You have an individual who grew up in the ghetto, no role model. The only role model them have was the ghetto, was the era leader then. Mm. So, and that individual becomes somebody who contributes to crime and that individual goes, goes to prison. You understand? If that individual is wise enough, he or her can change her life in the prison. True. Here and can start to read some book, re-educate themselves, rethink, thought, teach everything. You they start to see a different perspective, all of those things. And you can contribute greatly to society when you return to society, or if not from in the prison, you can contribute 
You understand? So a lot of things, it might be the darkest moment, but at the same way, you have great. As long as you have life, you can change any situation you want. Mm. And every situation, you have pros and cons in it. Mm, wow. Like, honestly, you're saying so many things that I really hope everyone is really taking in and soaking in everything that you're saying because you're speaking nothing but, as I like to say, facts, right? Like, you're speaking yeah. nothing but facts. And I do want to get into the song, but you just said so much, I can't just glaze over yeah, it. Yeah, 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 we can't go on the song at the end of the thing. You know what I mean? It's, it's not even that. It's yeah. just you're speaking very powerfully. And you know, through listening to your music over the years and now getting this opportunity and thank you again for being able to speak with you. You've always, yes. you've always come across as someone very wise, like you just have this deeper thinking aspect about you. Where does that come from? What is that? If there's anything that you could say, I don't know, that contributed to you being such a deep thinker or well, you just educated, like you, you're, you have knowledge. Well, um, when I was going to school, no individual teach me to write, teach me to, to read. When I was going to school, the first time I attended school, I couldn't even read what, what is on the board or what is on the book. Mm -hmm. So the first time I ever get a, a, a ticket in my book, it was one of it is, is, is a next, I don't know the person. Yeah. So I was in elementary school class and I was always getting you know wrong bang from the teacher and all of those things because I, I couldn't I never I couldn't fathom it I, I couldn't maneuver the word because I never really have that um that educational support in my family because I was five of us and it's mama alone so yeah. nobody teach me to read and, and I live in a tenement yard where the other set of people them in the yard fit them well stable. I wasn't and I never get a textbook. Um when other people when other people kids studying and all those things, I was I was in the yard playing because I never get the option where somebody say you have to read this or teach me to read. So I have to teach myself. Mm -hmm. So first time I ever get a ticket in my book, it was a next student sit beside me and you know, him been, you know, observing the situation. And then one day I just finished free work fast and just done my work. And I, and I get the ticket, I get the ticket in the book, not knowing what is on the paper. Yeah. And from I see that red ticket in my book, I tell myself, say, wow. that, and how the teacher deal with me. Yeah. From I get the ticket and how the teacher deal with me, I know that, yo, I have to continue getting this tick in my life right through. So from there, my life is like a charge sheet where I tick and I tick, you know what I mean? Because the teacher was like, whoa, why you me or you improve, man? And she started dealing with me different. And I was like, yo, oh, because, but then she was like, yo, you're not learning nothing, you know? <laughs> I don't know why they put you in my class. I don't know why they put you in my class. And that day she was like, wow, yeah. you really improved. And I see the change, I see the difference. And I was like, yo, all right. And then I gradually start to teach myself and teach myself and teach myself. First, I was a great swatter. So when I hear words, it ribbit in my brain. Mm. I don't know how to use it in a sentence, but I know the word. Mm. You know what I mean? And I know of the word and I know the word. And then um, I, 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 I learn how to spell the word. And when I can spell the word, I start to put it in. I spell the word, I understand the meaning, I start to put it. I buy an Oxford dictionary and I start to read up on the words, the man thing. I say, oh, this is it. And how to use it and context and all these things and where to use it. And, mm -hmm. and I mean, I start to learn the basic like verbs, nouns, pronouns, you know what I mean? All of these things, similes, you know what I mean? Conjunction, all of these things, you know what I mean? Yeah. Present tense, past tense how to use it and then I start to teach myself. So when I teach myself now, I start to understand the basics. And then I said, okay. But then during, to that, during that situation, as well as I said, I learned how to retain information. So my brain was fully equipped how to retain information. So once I'm feeding it in information. And then I started, when, you know, when I'm over that and I get bright now, I'm starting. 
get me A's them in my class and all those things. Then I decided to say, yo, I couldn't, I, I couldn't understand how we as black people process certain things. And when I read up certain things and I watch TV, I watch something, I always wonder why, you know, like white people is always, seems like it's always above us. Like we always have to look up to them or something or, yeah. And I never really liked that. And, I, and I, said, I said to myself before I even know that something must be wrong from slavery. Days. Something was, was, wasn't was taught right. Something, yeah. something was wrong, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I come to the realization that it's the education, the, the, the things that the filter in the stream to us wasn't right. Mm. You know, some doctrines and some, some type of education where brainwash of all of us. That's why a black person today will accept in white company and being rich. Modern day slavery, family. yeah. Yeah, and, and have no problem with it because him feel like the white people inferior or something, and have no problem with it. But once him black brother start to get rich, mm -hmm. he start to find other ways to ridicule him brother just to justify him failure, mm -hmm. you understand? And a white person do the same thing. So I understand that it was the, it was the knowledge that was taught to us. So I started to re-educate myself where I started to look on certain things different. Certain things what, 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 what I was ignorant and, and don't understand it. I started to look on it and I started to see different perspective. You know what I mean? I started to pause and reflect and, and, and it, because everything of cause and effect. You know what I mean? So I started to look on things and started to say, all right, and this. And one time I thought, I think that everything that you have to deal with as a man, you know, you have to deal with it physical, or you know. But I learned that sometimes silence is the greatest weapon. Mm. You know what I mean? And I learned how to to look on things from different perspective, and that mold me into a better individual. So when I'm being an artist and being creative, then I'm being creative. Yeah. But when I'm being biomimur, then you're going to see the growth, you're going to see the difference. You know what I mean? You might hear me a song and you might be a dance hall singer, you know, dance style of certain edge to it, you might hear it. it. might be a girl song, might be a raw song, might be a clean song, might be a slack song, might be a gun song, might be a party song. And over the reality side, you might, you know, your culture, vibration, is, you know, be, a, you know, yeah. inspirational type of music. But... I'm just being an artist right there because I can create and I, I, you know, I have a lot of things going on in my head. So I want to just release them. So, yeah. um, but when I'm being this person now, then too, I rethink a lot of things and retrain re my brain, then you hear a different side. Like people say, yo, when I talk to you, it's like, like, it's like a knowledge book. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. it just basically, that's, that's where my knowledge comes from and the things that occurs around us daily, the everyday happenings, and, you know? So I just, I just try to mold myself. And then, as great as, as I am, I yesterday I went to talk to one of my brethren and I said, yo, you're great, eh? Why you always try to go so hard to see me? Because I said, because you can get complacent in your greatness. Yes. You know what I mean? You can reach your eyes and feel that talk. Yeah. Then yeah. You can feel like, all right, I reach. So I'm at the top of the ladder looking down. Or you're at the top of the ladder looking down. You ain't no, you have nowhere else to go. But other people is climbing up. Exactly. You understand? So if you get complacent, complacent in your greatness, then you're going back down to square one because life continues and you learn every day. If you learn every day, then what you know, and really what you really know if you learn every day. There's no limit for knowledge. If there's something out there for you to learn every day, then what you really, really know, just ask yourself, say, what I really know. You know what I mean? And what do you really know that your intuition and your knowledge, your common sense that is not in a book? Common sense is a third eye that was a divine gift from the Almighty. You understand? Your common sense. What 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 you use your common sense to discover yeah. about yourself and to discover without read it. You know? Yeah. Recite something in a book and then 
express it out. That is, a, that is somebody, that is something that somebody writes and you read it and then express it like it's the truth. And I and, and also, you know, I also find out that the word believe is very, it can be very detrimental to mankind. Why is it believe? Believe is very de detrimental to mankind because a lot of people observe a lot of information and they believe in the information. Not because you believe in information and you create this persona, you live in it. It don't necessarily mean that's the truth. But you hear that? The word lie is in the word believe. See it? So yeah. So you don't necessarily mean that's the truth. I can believe that. <laughs> I can I can believe that <laughs> five and five and six is twenty. Yeah. <laughs> I can really, really believe that and everywhere I go I apply myself five and six is twenty. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. And there's no way. If you add it, it couldn't be twenty. If you subtract it, it can't be 20. If you divide it, it can't be 20. If you multiply it, it won't be 20. So, it, you know, so what, you know, I mean, a lot of people believe that. So I try not to put myself, put my, my thoughts in too much belief. I have to try to find out for myself. You know what I mean? So but this is how I process my day yeah. as a person. Yeah. I love that. I love that. It's like, you're, it's, 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 it's when you speak to people that are like really deep thinkers and like genius thinking, this is how they talk. Like you guys don't just accept what's given to you. You have to figure it out for yourself. But you're saying a lot of things that I myself am really inspired. And I hope those of you watching are taking in this information as well, because you've, you've been in the business for so long and it's not something easy yeah. to do especially in the dance hall culture you see an artist today with a hit song and you don't hear anything of them again the next time so it's just like you you found a way to remain consistent and for the most for the most like as what the culture of dance hall is you've remained out of the mix at such a great level compared to yeah others. because 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 I can count like eight, eight is what I mean, I've been counting, and I, I can count like close to 70 or 80 artists that I, I said about 60. Then I can call somebody where I started my journey, but maybe they're not get established enough that the world know. But maybe about 60 artists who, who's been around and get the break a little bit before me. Yeah. And who get break before and after, and it's nowhere to be found. And I'm still here, yeah. you know. I was just looking and lose a friend. It's okay to say that. Yeah. I know, and like I'm, you seem like you're still here. Yeah. Guy, but like so I, I, you can say looking, that. I was looking and lose a friend today, and you know, like stab vampire. Those songs is 13 years ago, and it's still one of my favorite songs today. And those songs. Like one is 13 years, one is 11 years, and one is that like is. 14 years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I, my first hit song, I was like 17, I'm going down to 18. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I get a hurly break. And my life was like child and hero, but the mind that I have, the mind that I have was, all of my errors wasn't a mistake for me. So I wasn't too apologetic about my errors. And a lot of people couldn't fathom it. And a lot of people don't like me for that. And a lot of people um, feel offended by it. And I think, they, I think they should, but because a lot of people been a part of the equation that, that was offensive, yeah. you know? Other people are part of the equation that was offensive, but I wasn't looking about. I wasn't looking at offense because those things are child and error. So there was, it was naturally done. It was naturally occur. You understand? But at the same time, I wasn't dwelling on apologies, sir, because a lot of people apologize to you because the word was created, mm. but the action still don't change. Mm. You know, so somebody else says sorry. I think sorry and 
the word love and in love and all those things is, is, is loosely used. Yeah. So it gets so redundant because people, people say it and people just do something and just say sorry. And yeah. Sometimes the damage is more than sorry. Sometimes the damage needs action yeah. to rebuild what has done. You understand? It need action. So I was all about the action side of it. All was about the action side of it. So my theme from the initial stage was like, <clears throat> all right, <clears throat> what can I do to contribute to this puzzle? Because life and music is a puzzle. Mm. And when I analyze it, everybody wants to be the middle piece. But the middle piece already gone to Bob Marley. I never and thought about it that way. Life is a puzzle, but the middle piece, the big middle piece that started the puzzle. Yeah. That's the biggest piece in the middle. Everybody wants to be that. Because everybody feels like that is the biggest piece. So this is where all the spotlight gonna be in. Yeah. But you also have to remember, so the small piece that 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 complete the puzzle up here is also imperative, just as the big piece, because if the small piece don't put there, the puzzle cannot complete. Yep. Not time. Yeah. Yep. It's an incomplete puzzle you have. Or an incomplete puzzle you have. All right. So I always look upon that. So I, I never go into dance hall or reggae music to be the favorite. I always say it from the initial stage. That's why I was what I'm like the first. I'm not like I am the first artist who comes to the forefront and was like the brand acting and people were mean by the brand. I was they must have, are you speaking of yourself as a third person? I said, the brand I act in is different from Biomi Muir, persona. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm going to follow me. Then every artist that I talk about my brand this brand is now. You know what I mean? But they won't give credit there. But you know what I mean? But I always tell myself, say, I don't want to be the best dancer artist or the best reggae artist. Because mm -hmm. too much chaos in that. Yeah. Who wants to be the best dancer artist? I just want to be the best I act in. Yeah. And it's only one I act in. See? And I only can be the best acting. So when I be the best acting with that frame of mind, then I can I can appreciate other people's songs, whether me and them deal or not. Yeah. Because I'm doing music and I just want to be the best acting. And I can really sit and learn from other people. Yeah. The greatness and the mistakes and I can learn. When I want to be the best dancer artist, then every individual in the business that I could learn from, I instead of being see them as a, a teacher, I'm gonna see them as a competitor. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Although it's a competitive world, and we 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 we're still a healthy level. We're yeah, we're generally compete competing against each other. But if I solely think I just want to be this ultimate person, yeah. You know, about this genre, then everybody, all the teaching, all the teaching that I could get, I'm, I'm going to don't play it because I'm mm -hmm. telling myself, say, I don't mean, want to learn nothing from them. Yeah. They must yeah. learn things from me. Yeah. So everything will be the, com I'm going to be a competitor and myself destruct. You know what I mean? I myself destruct because then I won't have an identity. Yeah. <clears throat> Anything that comes to the forefront and sound familiar or sound effective, that's the right word, then I'm going to change to, 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 to copy that sound exactly. because the growth for, for sound effective and when the sound change I try to copy that sound and, and through I'm all, up, all over the place I try to run the place I try to do this then the end of the day I don't I don't create nothing for myself exactly. so when you be the best person the best version of yourself then you can create something that stands out you know what I mean so that, that is what I do where you know, and I look in the business and place myself in areas that no artists now go. You know I really, I, mean? so, I really hope you artists, whether you're in dancehall, reggae, hip hop, whatever genre, you listen to that goat talk just now because let me tell you, in my opinion, and I'm and I'm sure others would agree with me, you have a lot of timeless records. A lot of people can make songs, but you have timeless records. So. Just you explaining that, I'm like, ah, mm -hmm. this is the type of thinking that gets you to those timeless records. So, yeah, I, because I'm I'm one of the most recording artists in Jamaica. I've, I've more I've six thousand other recording songs, six thousand and more recording songs as well. And I have four albums going on to the fifth, 
and I also have 192 hit songs. I'm not speaking about popular songs. I'm talking about. You hit have to. Songs. I have to pause for you because that's not. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. so hits songs are both over the world. That's why even even if I don't have a current art song, I can fly the same way. The artist artists in Jamaica. Them, me and them have the same show every year. You know what I mean? So if them have 30 shows, I still have 30 shows. Yeah. So because of it, songs are all about. I sing songs that when I pass, that song have to play for me. Exactly. You know what I mean? I sing timeless songs. Not every artist have a timeless song. But Marley have timeless songs. And a couple of other artists have timeless songs. I sing songs that when I pass, it have to play at my funeral. Same way. You know what I mean? So... It's true. It, when, and this is how you get those songs is when you think this way. Yeah. It's when you think this way. You're, as a human being, you should think how to contribute. You know, not, not to duplicate. Yeah. I recently, because, you know. Because when you duplicate, when you duplicate something, it's like an Ishmael. If you, if, you, if you read the Bible, you tell about Ishmael. Yeah. It's like an Ishmael. An Ishmael is almost original thing, like 99%, but it's still fake. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when you duplicate things, you're supposed to duplicate things because you want to learn from it. And you don't duplicate it, everything from it. You duplicate the parts them that they need to fix you as a move. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... That you should do as an individual, and that's what I do up to today. Day. That's why I'm still around, still vibrant, still singing, still. When you watch me, you know, it's like I'm always enjoying myself doing it because I love music, and this is my true calling. So I do it and I do it and I do it. You know, I mean, it's not really about the money. It's about me going to the fans, them performing, singing the records, them out there. That's the best time. You know what I mean? And you know, because that is my joy. So I always smiling, don't matter. We're on the place. We're on the place, but still post them song because I just want to be the best actor. Yes, it's true. You know what I mean? So I can appreciate other people, you know, so just like that. And I hope that um, more people as Dancehall continues to grow um, think that way because I was just having this conversation with someone about just, how comes out of all the genres, to me, it's just when it comes to the making money or the monetization part of it or having that global, you know, there's still that struggle. It's, it's still not getting to the, the peaks that I feel like it should be at, especially when reggae is the genre that birthed over 50% <laughs> of the music we hear today, right? Yeah, because 50% of the music that you hear today was derived from reggae. Yeah. You understand? So reggae, dance all derived from reggae. Yeah. Hip hop. Yes. The birth of hip hop. <laughs> the birth when the birth of the birth of hip hop was start from Jamaica. You know, so Jamaican leave Jamaica go foreign, go play music and spin over the record and DJ up on the record. Yeah. Yeah, I said, and and him friend them in the U.S. seat and I said, oh, yeah. and I saw hip hop was birth. So hip hop need need to pay dance style and dance style music and reggae music homage, yeah. homage. So you know what I mean. But here, what, here, here the problem is, as I mean, I said, a lot of people, a lot of people don't re. Everything start from here, you know, your brain. After re. Educate, educate yourself. When you re-educate yourself, then you will see things different. All right. Um, dance uh, and reggae music, the problem that we're having, we don't have an infrastructure. Reggae music is the biggest music everywhere in the planet. And I've been, I'm on my seventh passport now. And every single where I've been in the planet, I hear reggae music. I've been places where they don't know Jay-Z. Yeah. And them don't know of Beyonce. But they know about Everywhere they go in the world, they know about Mali. Yeah. So reggae music is like a global sport where they call soccer. Yeah. Every country plays soccer or football. football. Yeah. You know, or Jamaica, every country plays soccer. 
it's not every country the swimming, it's not every country the track and field, it's not every country playing basketball, but every single country in the world plays soccer. So reggae music is like that. You know what I mean? So but the problem we have in the door of our infrastructure. You know what I mean? In our And everyone wants to lead the infrastructure. Yeah, we don't have any no, we don't have those those elements of those fundamentals. The basic fundament was a put in place. We don't have any sort of, you know, reggae dance and music and reggae music derived from the ghetto where a man just feel some pain and just melt all a melody and man start to learn to play keys and drums and put rhythms together and Amanda said, oh, yeah, I was suffering last night. And I was singing life. And I said, no food when I go home. And the melody nice. And why, 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 why? And, and that song, you record that song and that song, it, it wasn't nowhere from middle class. It wasn't start from middle class or upper class. It was just ghetto people, right? But remember, ghetto people, they um, deprived from a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Like, deprived from education, like being you know, fluent and Water. ghetto was created by society. And in the ghetto, you know, I mean, poverty and at its best and crime at its best, you know, guns and, you know, you can't go to school, but you have access to a gun or you get it. Mm-hmm. Politicians tell them no, no, but when you get the gun, you never go to a record buy it, it was there. So instead of pre, the greater good, you have a pre, how I'm gonna survive. Yeah. And when you put human beings in a survival mood, then anything is possible. Anything. Because if you leave three person in a desert and those three person even if them don't eat meat, yeah. I tell you how great how, how powerful survival mood. They will eat the meat. If those three meat, if those three person don't eat meat and them them are travel every day and one die, those two person gonna eat or eat that person that died because they want the strength to survive. So them have to, because they're in a survival mood, so anything goes. So once you're in a get in a survival mood, then me have gone, you have gone. We might have gamble, we might have play football, you might say something in the light. You go for my gun, we shoot you. You decide say, want to shoot, but my father. And it's a whole back shoot, and forth. And, and, and it just escalate into something yeah. that you start to have border lines, you start to have enemy yeah. zones, you start to have all of these things. You know what I mean? So we don't have the infrastructure. You also sing, and then people just exploit the music and exploit the music. Different from different genres. You know, when my rap was derived from reggae music, but the infrastructure was put in place, like a real manager, real business, real student, right? So when you hear a rap artist singing reggae music, rap artist comes to the forefront. Yeah. You know? Different from a lot of new rap artists now where it's independent. So I, I, I see it and it all comes again from dance and music. These new rap artists are independent, independent who cannot do an interview and all of these things. It's derived from dance where we just unruly and we just do one thing and rare and nobody, you know, I mean? you have the talent and you have access to the internet and you put out this and stream enough and you know, company have a want because you're moving units and rare, but he's not a full product. Before that, like a bit before that, a dance artist, when they, when they are reg- a, a rap artist comes to the forefront, that rap artist can do a proper interview. Yeah. That rap artist know to just parents that art artists know to be point to and no time they go through that artist art, development they go through artist development so they are complete compact artists we don't have that we we have like you know a youth a drive a running taxi build a song. yeah a youth yeah. A, work, a work a work on a construction site and build a song and in, somebody hear it and bring it to a student and vice it and then next next week that song become the biggest song remember that man was mixing concrete and a construction site. Mm-hmm. So that person have to make that transition from being a laborer on a construction site yeah. to an artist. So that person will make a lot of mistakes yeah. because the song becomes so big, that person will make a lot of mistakes. That person won't know how to perform, know to, deal with yeah. know, to de- yeah, know to deal with people, know to answer questions and an interview, etc. And then 
people don't forget your mistakes then when you're when, when you're growing up as an artist you know we as Jamaican once you don't sound good on an on a, on a interview it's like I'm done it's like and people write you for that and don't I know that I don't know that you never get the opportunity to be exactly. that right person that I'm looking for I was just working on a construction site and now I have the biggest song in the country. So what am what am I supposed to do? You understand? So people don't look at those things. So I pinpoint those things from early and I make sure work on myself. My journey is, is, is much, much different from majority artists because I know a lot of things. And when you know a lot of things in the music, you have a lot of enemies. Because <laughs> you know, once you know a lot of things, you're gonna ask. Exactly. Touch questions, and you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna need some some information that other artists not asking for, and all those things. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So people might get touchy. People might say, "Okay, all right, then I'm not gonna, I'm not work with him again because he know too much." Yep. You know? What I mean? Yeah. So it that's the thing. Kind of... That's the thing. It's it's unfortunate, and I'm really hoping everything that you just spoke on it really starts to improve and we really do have the right people in position and they build a correct infrastructure because jamaica is filled with talented people talented people no, talent, talent we can't talent feel everywhere. that's why but what they don't understand what... is talent can only bring you that's that's only like 10 percent of the hard work, hard work any talent you know yeah so yeah. Jamaica, we don't we don't we don't shot at it. That's why Not at you don't care you don't care how how an artist feel like him is the greatest. Trust me. Jamaica will create all ten more you see in both. That's that's his all that's his all bless Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Jamaica will create ten more Bob Marley. Yeah. Maybe a couple years from now. Jamaica will create ten more vibes cartel. You know? My people was singing before Cartel and the Lieutenant Stitchy and Wallipa Man and Papa with Wallipa lyrics and all those things. And I don't, come. I don't, I will say though, because I am, I'm not a girl that says, oh, I'm a diehard Vibes Cartel fan. I'm a, mm-hmm. I'm a true from Timeless Renaissance. So I don't know if we'll get another one of those, but I do hope that you get. No, I was, I was like, you have an example, sir. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Cartel. And, and, and here comes Carter, and I was saying that nobody know that this guy would emerge like from nowhere. And Carter learned along the way because in the initial stage, he was like diamond in the rough. So a lot of people couldn't understand it, but yeah. it was something. And I'm telling about consistency. Yeah. You know, when, when Carter just starts singing songs and all these things, people say, he might jump off of the rhythm. He not sound good for the rhythm. You know what I mean? But he was way ahead of time, like 2025 20, flow and all those things from them time they bef- in, in from in the 80s and the 90s coming up and the 2000s and people say, yo, it's not so good. But then through the consistency now, then every then the, the whole entire business changed and everybody wanted to do the same thing. But, you know, gradually we find some that births, the Almighty creates somebody who we surpass that and surpass that because it's life. 50 oh. years from somebody ever come and surpass all of these things and surpass the IAT and surpass this and surpass that. And sur- you know what I mean? So yeah. Jamaica don't, don't short of talent. So you're not special. When you have talent in Jamaica, you're not special. Mm. Because and it's not like the rest of people, them. Not special. Don't have that. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, so you're in, you're, in, you're, in a, you're in an arena where every single person is talented. talented. So the only thing you can use, because you can't say, oh, me are in the place, my talent, my talented. No. Breadfoot man can run the place too. Yep. yep. You can come from nowhere and run the place. Yep. Because he's just as talented and even more talented than you. Exactly. Right? So we don't shout at talent. We don't shout at application. How we apply yourself. Agreed. And, and, and what your real, real purpose. You know what I mean? So a lot of people say, oh, are you there? Come on, are you there? It, it, remember, you know, a lot of people don't believe how powerful the universe is. So I believe. <laughs> and the universe really yeah. acts 
yeah. re, re, reward you and really conspire against you if you say certain things. So a lot of people come out and I just want to be in poverty and I'm just, you know what I mean? So when you hear an artist come and run the place for six months and they don't hear about him no more and he just drop off and gone for good because it's what him tell the universe him want. Mm. So him, what him want is already fulfilled. So him can't offer nothing more. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. already fulfilled. People have short terms goal where they want fulfilled, but we want through the talent is there, we want it to extend, but that person just him tell himself, say, we just want five at song, and we just want some chain around my neck, and we just want one beam around bench to drive. Right, me... We just need that. We just need to move out of the get and go rent somewhere up up, up apartment and we just want four baby mother. <laughs> Yeah. So him get all of that. Yeah. So there is no more joy. There is no more hunger. There is no you know hear the passion. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Unless you have somebody who think like me when you say, you know, in no matter any situation, I have to do music. Music is something that I use to alleviate myself from stress. Music is more than popularity and fame for me. It's like the soundtrack of my existence. Before music, I never really feel like music, I never really feel like, like I was properly understood as a human being. Wow. So when I said the song, like I really have life and I was living, but I, but I never exist. Wow. Or I should say I was coexisting. Yeah. You know what I mean? But when you're coexisting, that not means say you live what you're doing. You're coexisting, you just go through the motion. Yeah. But when I find music now, then all of these things now I can get across and people can really hear what I'm saying. Yeah. I listen because the difference between listening and hearing. Yeah. So people can listen. And it also put me in some different places where, some powerful places where I can make my statement. Yeah. And it can bring on a lot of powerful people here. So, so. It's more than popularity and, f- popularity and fame. So that's why I treat it this way and that's why I try my best. That's you know, me, my body as the vehicle who transport the message or transport the music or, you know what I mean, my brain. But I always try to make sure so it, it all right and my brain all right because that is where the information comes from. You know what I mean? So, yeah, this is how... Operate. <laughs> well, I, I really respect it. I, I've always respected you as an artist, but definitely today with this conversation, I my respect level for you has grown even more because you really are the man that I thought I was hearing through the music. So really do appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Now we need to get into some things I obtain, okay? Yeah. You have a new song. The song is called <laughs> It's not my. It's not. It's not, it's not my song. It's the ladies' them song. <laughs> well, you made a song for ladies like myself, okay? Uh, yeah. And yeah, yeah. I see nothing wrong with the track because I agree. I'm not selling my True. body, but I do feel and I do consent to a man spending on me. And, and, it don't, and it don't necessarily mean that it's cash. You know, we're having this debate. It's a value. And, yeah, continue. When you finish, I will, I will explain. Well, Spending on you, continue, yeah? Well, spend on me and just, as I said, like you were about to get into, but spending on me in the sense of making me just feel more complete as a woman. So whatever aspect that may be. So in the song, but I want you obviously to get more into it, but in the song specifically, you're talking about hoes plus car plus, but it's not just that. What? No, it's not oh, just that. Exactly. Yeah. So because, all right. <laughs> because the song, the song, if you notice in the song, when I start the song, um, I said, if, if I'm on Ray, if I'm on Noah Spain, tell him next. Next in line and move on. Yeah. You know, sell love, but your body is not for free. All right. I am talking about, I use 
I put it in a more sexual way and I use money because money is the more catchy word. Because when you listen to the song, you have to pre entertainment. And when I'm when I when I was composing the song, I was thinking about stage show and how the people would receive it. Because, yeah, because it's entertainment. Once it's got once you bring it musically, you have to think about how can I teach or bring this message across but still make it entertaining. All right, so that's the first element of creating a good song. So you have to make it very entertaining. Then you have to make the topic very relatable. And then you decide which one of these gender you're going to make it more appealing to. So if you make it appealing to the female, what is in the song intriguing enough to capture the female attention? Good. All right. A lot of females out there, you have a lot of females out there where um, due to Instagram and all of these things that's occurring, the, the TV, all of them things are occurring, reaching the mind, and a lot of females out there, them solely purpose is to chop a man, alter them body, set up themselves, go on my Instagram page and say, all right, Octane is in there. I'm having a show the 24th. I'm going to go to his show, and I'm going to get a backstage pass or so, and I'm going to present myself. I get what you're saying, yeah. In, in this place that... He cannot resist me. Yeah. She won't say anything to me, but she put herself in a position to be looked. Yeah. So you see that now, I say, you're the girl, you're the man, very, 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 boom. Start talk to her, you know, she start to put up like a resistance because she wants to seem sturdy. She wants to sell herself like, oh, she's a good girl and very, very, very. And she start talk to her. But her goal is to, yo, know, the youth are famous, you have money, you have chop, you may get pregnant, you put him on chance, you don't want to work and, if it don't work out, just left him and go to the next man where because this is their job. But then you know you have other females now, like you and other good females who really are contribute to society. You understand? I contribute to society. And like that girl who may explain, who don't have the, the the man version of that girl. Yeah. You understand? Starting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that, that girl here, so you have the man version of that yeah. girl. Yeah. So as a man, as a man, I think your risk is a is a, is a alpha. So you are the head of any relationship as a man. So as a man, I know enough girls independent. So I'm not saying, and that's why I'm saying in a no, I get what you're saying. Not I get what you're not saying. Even as so independent. as a man, if you if you have something, I have more than one girl. You're jealous. Yeah. And then all your girls and we are talk to supposed to feel appreciated. Yeah. You're supposed to make them feel good. You're supposed to take care of them. You're supposed to them, you know, motivate them. Make sure they know them. there's another one. Yeah. Yeah, motivate them. They may not probably say, yo, babes, call them and say, listen to me now. The plan, they have a plan. Yo, that not going to work, you know. Such and such. Motivate them. Your girl, maybe she'll do, uh, you're just at it. Maybe she'll do a vlogging. Maybe she'll have a program. Maybe she'll them suck. they say, all right, them babes, you know what? Me in the street, me do my hustling, right? Me no active. You have a talk show. You have a get him for your talk show. Yeah. You know, come on, build up the credentials. And you know that man, they're acting very, very, very. And I saw you do it, you contribute something. You don't have to necessarily be money. And acting is a big artist. And she comes, she get more fun. Oh, yo, yo, she know acting like that. You know what I mean? And you put things for your thing and build up your thing. And you know, just like that. And you motivate your woman and all these things. You are part with me, your woman have a talk show and you never think, say, make acting do an interview for your woman. Yeah. No, it's fast. You understand? So I just basically think like that. So I know everybody have care and everybody have read. So I just make it simple as possible. Like, for example, you have some man where a girl has say, yo, babes, you know the bed they on black. The bed where you are sleep on as you as a top man with this girl, she have it on four blocks. You can't. No bed, uh, no bed foot. And then she said, babes, you know, say, I'm going to go to market and I'm going to sell to them. I have five grand. Can you give me five grand? I'll make up and buy a bed. They said, no. Why don't we take it out? You said, she take it out and I have purchased from courts. When she get the bed, you see one come, one come have sex on the bed. 
while you use your money to do other things. Do you understand? So, and it's vice versa. Woman take care of you too and make you feel good. And you know what I mean? So, I, f- I just feel like a, a, a good man should take care of whatsoever them said them love. Yes. <laughs> I agree. Completely. Completely. Yes. I'm not an idiot strike a girl out there them girl we know I hear you're difference. saying I'll be fair there are those women yeah, we know it. yes yeah. we know the sense and we look at them out there may I talk when you find when you have a good man who progressive and have ambition you understand so a lot of men out there say oh we're not getting home but no money and rare 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 why are them funny pills we're not getting home and no money I prefer to use a lotion <laughs> so I'm saying yeah. that brother I'm I may mean, always say that my program so ladies because I don't believe that a man should a man saw the purpose of a mind woman I may not believe that and no girl can tell me say my only purpose in a fear life is for mine I me not want you I <laughs> me not want you I'm going to dig straight me not depend that yeah. see my solely purpose not a mind my solely purpose my me not supposed to have one purpose in your life we're supposed to can bring you to a next level, create opportunity that can help me back and help Ray and this, that. And if we go down the line and you end up get pregnant, you can do it and that and all these things and Ray and, you know what I mean? So this is, this is how you're supposed to elevate and bring forth the female or the females that you say you're involving in the world. So that is it. But you don't know enough people are saying, oh, no, I'm getting a woman of money, this, that, 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 that. But come on. If you sleep with a girl and do what you need for doing, call her your girl and this and that. And you have to make sure she's all right. Even if it's a one night stand. If it's a one night stand. It's true. I agree because. If it's, an, if it's a one night stand, you make sure so that female comfortable around you. She's not supposed to want it a food. She's not supposed to want it a taxi fare or Uber fare or which one. You're supposed to make sure she's all right. Yeah. You have to make sure she's all right for the whole entire night and you're supposed to take care of her till she leave your presence. You understand? So this is our, our look on it. And the other and is a three, three different aspects of the sun. And the other, as we say, I have girls, I've got four. Four, you have girls where them are planned for pink man and ray, and then you have the the male version of those yeah. girls. Yeah. And in between, you have good girls and you have ambition. You try you inner them life, you more stable than them. If I even with inspiration. Yeah. Because some girls have money, and you go into them life, but they might make the wrong decisions. Mm-hmm. They might circle the same mountain. You have the idea. Insert the idea. I make sure you know, say, enough you circle the mountain, babes, I can climb over the mountain. Mm. You understand? Mm. So all of these things. So you, so, you, so you put in those ideas, insert those ideas, right? And then now, the fourth aspect of the song you now is, you have some girl now out there where, yeah, the moral standard is too shallow. Yeah. Because, yeah, them body art, yeah, them look good. Yeah, them have good vibe. Yeah, them good in bed. Yeah, them have that energy there. Yeah, you know, man like that vibe there. You know, every man have a little wild side and like that wild them. You know, that ego, they've been pleased and they like it. Maybe them now get that from them wife or yard because some of them wife are them married. Them do everything to get the man. When they marry, they get complacent. Yeah. They get complacent and know so the man did like that spice thing there. You know what I mean? And like before you get the man. Men get before you get the man, too, though. The man, yeah, the man could have come home at any night, any time. You, you make sure anything in the night or anything, you make sure so you prepare yourself, everything nice. After you get the man, the ring go on. The man come in, you know, prepare yourself, you know, bed. You, know, you just throw down, you just do anything. And it's like you throw off the man energy, like, yo. So me come in now and me feel like all right then babes more have sex I rare 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 I say but I be able to come in I'm a bit tired I'm in a bad baby I'm a camera that rare rare something 
same and then complacency kick in and you yeah, do that for two days, three days, four days, five days, six days, till it end up till it end up that's it become a pattern where every three weeks you start to have sex in your marriage. Every three weeks and it got start to go a month because other things start to go on her priorities. Wake up in the morning, make up them, she want to make sure she look good because her friend them work at the workplace and she want to make sure so she always vampire so she can grab ring, ring, ring. And the, the ring, the red ring become more important than your partner mm-hmm. because you just want to say, I am a wife, this, that, that. But you forget about the role. So now the man finally because spooky on the side and she nice and she give a vibe and starting to say, all right then. She can make up for, for all so for the three weeks I'm gonna have sex when I have to work because I get it somewhere. You understand it, right? When that, that now, the girl them find a man that man they take care of them and give them the money, do this all thing not because I'm feel good and comforted. Then you find out so some of them girl them just money where them I get in our position, you will become this internet driven social media. Um, Instagram. People, when I look in the camera, I always remember. Oh, so dangerous, man. People on Instagram always show the end product. Yeah. End product. That's why nobody been inspiring no more. Can nobody not show the journey. So when everybody I grew up, I say the end product. Every other kids, them just feel like, oh, it's life is smooth, life is this. And when them go out there now, because them live through Instagram and I live through the internet and buck up in a rough life, them fall in depression. We need for sure the journey. You have to show the journey before you show the end product. That's why females who wake up in the morning and just wash your face and just post natural before you put on the makeup and before you do your hair. You understand? Because if you call a girl and I hear you, oh, I can't come with my camera. I don't mean, look good. <laughs> you mean I look good. Why you not look good? Why you think you don't look good? It's because you kill that beauty out of your eyes. Yeah. You always, you, you, you think that when you apply all the makeup and put on the hair, that's when you look good in the mirror. So you, you tell yourself, say, that's your look good. That's how you look good. You understand? And they've been telling us that on magazine as black people. It's since I've recently have black people at headline magazine. It's been white people for years. Yeah. See? And you, we always have a white guy that's a black man. Yeah. And black, white people always been the face of magazine. And this is the ideal look for beauty. That's why everybody want manga and everybody want this and everybody want that. It's been that for all of the Playboy magazine them for 50, 30, 60 years. These type of people, so black people are like, oh, if I'm not that color and I'm not that look, I don't be beautiful. So enough people alter them color and them bleach and them do this and them do that because them feel like this, this is how you're supposed to look. This is beauty. But that's just bull. That's not beauty. Beauty, no matter, that's what you see. Beauty, when you wake up and you can feel and exhale and you look in the mirror. Whatever you see in the mirror, that's your reflection of your beauty. Zane beauty of all shapes, size, form. Zane beauty not cons, cons are, are restricted to one, to one person or one shape or one form. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. So that's why you can have a beautiful human. You can fish in and find this beautiful, weird, weird color look. Looking fish boy, no, they never see any people. So, wow, this need to go in the gallery. This is beautiful. Mm-hmm. And you can find a stone. I said, oh my God, stone is beautiful. You can find a big diamond. You know what I mean? So, everything of the own, coming in one farm, one beauty. So, this girl on book, them money, and money, I take care of them, give them money, caught up in Instagram, instead of them, not really have nothing for themselves. Mm-hmm. So, instead of do like, all right. 10 grand if you have working, but you know what? Give me the 10 grand. Exactly. And, Start a business. Okay, all right, good. Give me the 10 grand. You can get the 10 grand. You go buy a Michael Kors bag. Will look just as good as it. Yeah. You buy a Michael Kors bag and you have $9,000 left for $8,000, $7,500 yeah, left. Business. You put the $7,500 <laughs> in something that is some business yeah. or something like that. You understand and 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 build yourself. Yeah. Build yourself because 
you're not supposed to have a man where you give all the things and you not gain from it. One thing you have a clothes for sure. And Gucci for sure. And Prada for sure. All of these things for sure. And don't mean tell you say, a man is supposed to gear that. But at the same time, when a man gear that, you're supposed to convert that into something that is great. So this is what the song about. <laughs> Talking yeah, talk, you're talking that talk, and I hope the queens that are listening, you guys, take that in because this is a real black man giving an honest opinion, and I respect it. And you're not the first black man to say these things to me in recent conversations with this whole Birkin bag and just having that perspective. And it's not you guys want more for us. There are a set of men out there that genuinely want more for us as black women. So, I hope- Yeah, man, there's a, there are a million black girls in my DM, I just see them and just like, and just DM them and say, princess, man, love your color, don't change it. Yeah. It's so beautiful, you're a queen. And just, and that's that. And then when they text me, I say, oh, thanks very much. And then when they text me, hi, what's up? Because them can't fathom it that acting day me and just say that and just say no more to me. No, I don't want you. I'm not looking at you. Exactly. But you need to hear it. You need to hear it. Exactly. You know what I mean? My black, my, most of my black friends, they turn out and rub out because they want to fit in in society. They want to feel accepted. This for my skin right there, sir. I don't remember if it's a dermis or the epidermis or whichever. Way, but epidermis, this way I look on. Right? Yeah. Epidermis. All right, good. The outer layer of skin. This way I look pan, it's beautiful to me. And I, I love it. Friend. And I would do nothing to change it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's just like that. So, you have to just know. You have to just know as a human being and know as a female. You have to just know as a man. So, your job is to secure, brother. Well, you, you know? guys... That's why when a woman... That's why a, that's why a man love language is comfort and a woman love language is security. Once a woman come around and feel secure, enough man feel like, yeah, that girl, like, yeah, she could and she could, she can sex good and if you have her. So you feel like you feel just get the best sex and you can hold her, no? And you wonder how she go around the corner and give up on her and leave you. I wonder, say, what a man in my class? No. Because you're not gar- you're not provide no security. When a woman you feel like a woman good and she's spontaneous around you. Make sure you feel secure. She do some something around you really and never do you add like one different type of thing in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when a man feel comfortable around a girl and nice and feel comfortable because that is man love language, them just do them just do anything for the girl because this this is where them feel like them can go without being ridiculed. You understand? And a girl just feel one feel comfort. Man. I feel secure. She just feel secure and that build up her self esteem. You know, say, oh, she never look upon another man because she get all of these things. She just feel secure. She hear the right things. Then, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, anyway, I think we had to talk too much now. <laughs> no, it's not an anyways thing. Like this is honestly what our people need to hear and the conversations they need to hear because it's important. A lot of my friends, and sometimes I'm guilty of it as well, they, just like you're saying, they'll say, come somewhere like, oh, my hair's not done, I da, 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 whatever, you know? And we can't be governed by that because the more even as my journey growing downtown and building in and it's going into year five of me doing this, it's just kind of like I had to really, on this journey, learn that it's about my inner happiness. And the more I became happier within myself and educating myself and becoming more knowledgeable about my roots and everything everything that you're talking about so don't feel like i'm just here saying yeah 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 i'm really i'm really here listening and agreeing with you and it's through that that people now yes people always tell me yeah you have a nice style etc etc but now when people tell me they're like your skin is just glowing and i'm like i'm not wearing any makeup i'm just relaxing but it's when you really do those things that add value to your life the people you surround yourself with add value to your life consistency um now when i get calls on my phone i know that it's not no gossip it's not this it's not that it's things yes that, and that's, that's all that's all girls for your intent or relationship with a man make sure you say add value to your life yeah yeah 
money was used, the word money was used because that entertaining is catchy, but just value overall. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's basically that, you know? I love the song Next. You guys, you have to make sure to stream it. It is on YouTube. You can subscribe to iOctane's page. Stream the song there. Also, is it on all music platforms or? No, it's a release official this Friday on all music platforms. Amazon, Spotify. So on the blog, we will make sure to share that. Yeah, Apple Music, everything is going to release worldwide. And I'm doing the video this weekend into early next week. So look out for clippings and looking forward to see the concept you come up with. So I do have a question, um, another staple question that we do ask everyone here at downtown. Um, Mm -hmm. (laughs) I feel like you've given so much, but I have to ask these questions or else people are going to be like, why are you never asking you always? Okay. So bear with me. Um, You have the four elements, wind, earth, fire, and water. Which element do you resonate with the most and why? Or do you feel represents you the most and why? Wind. Wind, fire, earth, and mm. fire. water. Water. Thank you. <laughs> I think fire for me. I think fire for me, although water is the most dangerous of everything right there. You know? People underestimate water, but water is, is, is very, 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 very dangerous. You know what I mean? So, um, as much as a, as much as a drink water, like a, you know, drink it, and it's smooth and it goes straight down without no effect, and and and, it's, and, and water is, is is that source of life. It also can be very dangerous. I mean, yeah, because that same water, if you if you fall from the sky and drop in the sea, depends on how you drop in the sea. That same water can break any yeah. solid like a like a concrete. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So water and water can take it time and bring it coarse and soak. You know. Water have take it time. It, it spend time and soak and soak and you have this big avalanche where a whole island split in two because water soaked for years and years. Yeah. But fire because I'm a truthful person. I speak the truth. I'm always rebellious. Although a man who speak the truth in a world of evil, always being ridiculed and always quick for dead and them always will kill him. But I don't fear that. And I don't fear to be ridiculed and I don't fear to put to being thrown under the bus because everybody have, everybody want to be everybody want fit in so everybody will lose them identity but them forget say all great advocates and all great pioneers all great leaders was once a culprit in the eyes of society mm. being ridiculed Marcus Gavi being ridiculed. Kwame Nkuman, Malcolm X. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nani from the Maroons. Um, that break the system. Mali. Yeah. You know, whatever thing. Yeah. And Slash CIA. You know what I mean? What about people? And one of the greatest of all, the whole entire world, majority of the world, praise and love, call God and worship on was crucified, mm-hmm. Jesus Christ or Jesus Christ. So all of these people that mean ridiculed become poster boys and poster girls yeah. were put in house and celebrate and all of these things. So there is nothing wrong when people try to go against and say things and try to ridicule it. There's nothing wrong. Don't afraid. Don't afraid to maximize and to explore your best chances in life. Because you're afraid of people moat. You know? Moat was created to talk. People will say things. Yeah. Sometimes people say something about you. This is how they feel about themselves. But they must put I put for them fear on you. Yeah. This is how they feel about themselves. So you will do a you will do a talk show and a girl say, Yo, but you will do a word that now go make it. 
Mm-hmm. That's how she feel about herself. If she don't want to talk to it, not make it. But well, that necessarily it. means it's good for you. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. It don't necessarily mean that's for you. So people put them fears by you. So I just them thing. Then. So and you can't even blame them because they can't see. Mm-hmm. A lot of people eyes open, but they have no vision. Because vision is different from sight. Vision is beyond sight. How far your eyes can see? Your eyes can see as just as far. But when you have vision, you can see like 10 years in the future. You know what I mean? Vision is a third eye. You know what I mean? You don't need eyes to see things. You know? Just immediate things. You have, you know? But you have vision is something that you can close your eyes and still see things. And manifest. you can make it manifest and create. You know what I mean? So, I would say fine because I like to just speak what should be spoken, mm. not think about it and put it away. I like to speak what should be spoken. So I think that is more of a fire thing there. You know? It is so you need to say. You know what I mean? So I would I think fire is more my sign and then I'm a April band, so I'm a ro- I'm a first band. Yeah. So I'm a Taurus. So you know like my sign that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. That's why I'm a sing cultural song. It, it touch people and people feel like yo, now you to speak just to me. I wanna give a, a motivational speech. I wanna speak to people like from this level, you know, people feel like yo, they connect because you know. That was that is my sign. That is how you know. Yeah. yeah. I don't. Now that I think about it, I've always met Pisces people, but very rarely do I get to encounter Taurus. But interacting with you, I feel like I need to find more Taurus people because these are the kind yeah, of people. Yeah, Taurus people. Taurus people. Taurus people is is the brother, you? big sister. Mm. Now we are big brothers and big sisters. They have all different type of zodiac sign, but we are the first one. Mm. So Tar, we always are the big brother and the big deeper one. We sign with the first one, so we have that thing within it where we always like to take care of us, our environment, because mm. it's just us. Yeah. So once you in, come in contact with any Taurus, Reuben, the first part is Aries, Reuben. Taurus still a Ruben, you know what I mean? First one, so we like that. We just come here, so and we just take over the room. Yeah. We want to clean up the place and we want to make sure all right, that's it. Good and you know, you should approach a situation in that way and you know, and you make a mistake, we take the blame for you and we give you this all, oh, all right. You have to work eight o'clock, all right. See my car, and then me, I go to work to 12 o'clock. Me take the bus, and that's it. We stay that's it. We, we, we're big brothers, so we try to take care of everybody else, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But then, no, and we have a lot of chances like, yo, you, you mess up, we get a chance, you get a mess up, you get a chance. But once, once you're ready for the ripper money, that's it, you know? We might tell you something where there's no coming back from it. Because we don't plan for that, you know what I mean? So that's Taurus. I think Taurus is one of the realest months, still, if not the realest month. You know? I don't know. I think Libra is. But there are a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, a lot of people don't tap into them zodiac signs, though. You know? A lot of people don't understand. They you know tap into it. You know? Well, a lot of people out there can tell you who you are. You know? A lot of people out there can tell you who you are, but not. Them don't know themselves. Yeah. Because they don't spend time. Knowing themselves, it's true. You know, true. yeah. I definitely um, am learning what you're speaking on, and being a Libra woman, I am understanding more why I deal with situations the way I do. I don't like loudness. I like balance. I don't like contention. So definitely learning. Yeah, you got to read up. You got to read up on these signs. Yeah, and read up on these signs and then you will see the perfect signs then for you where we work best with you. Do you think you know that I mean? part of it is right? Do you believe in that part of it? Yeah, because yeah, of course it's right. It's just that human beings lose connection with the universe. We lose connection because we get, you know, 
we stop to think, we make people think for us and give our and process information and then we retain the information and work from that. Mm. You know, we're not we're a free spirit again, we're not think for us and we get to connect it. Mm. Nami. If you notice, majority of the world is on this program. Majority of the world wake up, see five o'clock in the morning. Maj- five o'clock, five a.m. in the morning, and everybody I try beat the traffic six a.m. If we wake five and the same man wake five, we try beat the traffic six. We are gonna have con- congestion. Yeah. We are gonna have traffic because may I have the same, may I on the same grid. May we wake five. And we are trying to beat the traffic with six. So we are going to have traffic on the road. That's why it's not the most so traffic can be. Can everybody feel like, oh, my six o'clock is going to come first before your six o'clock. But uh, six, o- six o'clock is just six o'clock. So everybody up on the same group. So if you as a person now decide, say, you know what? I'm going to wait 4.30 and leave at 5. You won't go beat up in the traffic. You know what I mean? So a lot of people go out there and process the same thing. And, and they're on the same grid. You know, when they're off the grid thinker like me, and an off the grid businessman, and an off the grid, then it's a better result because you know, in a sense, you have the world, you know. You have the world, and you pass off shallow same way. Exactly. Once you pass off, that's it for you. Exactly. You know what I mean? It best you don't, it best you have what you need to survive and what you can contribute and have that same way. Because everybody wants the best for themselves, but also leave a legacy, leave something that people can always remind, you know, yeah. use it as, a, as, as an example. Yeah. Sorry. And use it as an example to, 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 to justify or to rectify or to do something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I agree. Just I like agree. that. Completely. So I do I do like to always throw in a random question in the interview yeah. just to have a little fun. <laughs> so Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna let you choose the lane of the random question that I go down. Just 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 throw any question, man. I I'm, I am the interviewee. You, know. you are the interviewer. So okay. you're the interviewer. So I'm the interviewer. That's how you feel. I'm really gonna. I am throw. in your program, no. So I'm gonna Anything throw. I'm gonna throw program. a really random one out there. Just true questions. So we're gonna do a quick. Would you rather? Okay. So okay. would you rather? You know the game. I give you two options. You must choose one. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm really testing this one. Would you rather? I octave. Mm-hmm. To chop off both of your thumbs or a baby's thumbs? foot. Yep. A uh, what? A baby's foot. I would rather to chop off both of my thumbs or a baby foot. Yes. Like like just a baby foot? A random, you don't know the baby. And my thumb? Of a baby and both of my thumbs? Either both of your thumbs or the baby's foot. I told you it was random. <laughs> well, um, it depends, you know. <laughs> it depends. It depends. It depends. It depends. As I say, as I tell you from the, I tell you from the get go, say, I, I, I try my best to stay far from lies, and I mean, so someone that say, yeah, man, chop off my thumbs, because I don't want to feel tell people that and leg of the baby, but. It depends still. It depends on the type of um, humanitarian mood that I'm in. And it depends on the circumstances why it happens. You know? It depends on the circumstances because uh, it depends. <laughs> I, can't just, I can't understand it. Let me, mm-hmm. let me ease yeah, you. Once it comes, it comes then we're moving. Up. Yeah, and that's, that's the ending that's of the game because... You better just cut off your hand because this remove them thing you, have, you can't write with them. You have fingers, but how you gonna write with it? Then? How you go? You know. How you gonna hold? Your this finger? is the most if, if, if effective or essential finger. Yep. This you know operates and make everything. You know what I mean? So it depends. Let me ease your mind a bit. 
98% yeah. of the people say chop off that baby's foot. So <laughs> don't feel, <laughs> don't feel anyways it's because the they're, they're rational. It depends because, uh, because, um, it depends. It depends. Well, some people said the rationale for it is the baby doesn't know life with two foot. So what is it if it has to grow through life with one foot where we're grown, we need our two thumbs to maneuver and et cetera. And they said they'll find a way to bless the baby later on. So It depends because if, 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 it's, if it's my child, then no, I don't, I, I'm baby. not thinking about that. Yeah. They can go out with my hand and my foot and my, everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if it's... I, I, I don't know. Depends on the mood. Because sometimes, sometimes, man, I don't know. Sometimes my brain work for me. I mean, you know, this is not really me. I just, you know, this, this kingly character type of vibe where I would sacrifice anything just, you know, because I'm in that mood. So it depends on the type of mood that I'm in. Yeah. Then, you know, but thinking about it now, all right next <laughs> i'll give you one more i'll be a little yeah. bit nicer <laughs> yeah. all right so if you had the choice of being known for ending world hunger so everyone would know that you are the reason why the world has no more world hunger or you can get five hundred million dollars one time. Mm -hmm. Which would you choose? But I would choose five hundred million US one time. Either five hundred million dollars US one time, or you would be known for healing the world of world hunger. So, which would you rather? Well, you have to choose the heal in the world. Why? Because that, that's a legacy that you leave in that no money can buy it. Buy it. And when you heal the world of hunger, that means that every single individual is going to be stable financially because everybody got have an opportunity now. Somebody not suffer again, nobody not read it. Then you becomes that statue that 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 that, that, that person that the whole entire world look, look to and then that that level of status that they get can start generate but money into you more than 500 million yeah. you understand yeah and more than 500 million because if you end world on hunger come on it's eight billion nine right. billion people in the world and yeah. four billion people are suffering you end that the other four will not suffer or feel offended because people always want status and class and levels in life. You understand? Nothing wrong with levels in life because you have to have a man to clean the street, you have to have a man to clean the toilet, you have to have a man to pick up the rubbish, you have a man to rear, have a man to exactly. do the business on Wall Street, etc. Nothing wrong with you have people to do those things. You have to have different type of people. But when you, when, you, when you finish on, when you kill hunger, mm -hmm. I get rid of hunger, and then you get a such as like Christopher Columbus, that thief in brother. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, that thief in exploiting brother. Right. You know what I mean? Thief everybody idea say a thief. Yeah. And you get that status. Then that means that your generation and your family live right through that. For real. Yeah, you can't so far again for life. For real. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can't yeah, suffer so again for life, just like the um the Rockefellers. The Rockefellers is who save America. Yeah, yeah. America, when 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 America brain drain went in brain drain, where them don't every the mean the powerful people them left the island who don't understand that. I mean, I mean gunshot in the people. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that like, the people them with the status and who yeah. leave the country so you don't have the resources to save the country they, 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 they are the person who buy save everything and put a bunch of million US and save the country so exactly. rock of the America who Rockefeller right choose and the company and the generation upon generation and the allies are get compensated from the country itself and then not paying a tax and everything is there okay. you know so 
right through we dead and right through the next country of the rock the Rockefellers in, in America will always sustain and always live and the parents and the kids are always rich and wealthy and you know what I mean so you have to cure hunger enough people are saying what 500 million <laughs> I'm with you. I'm doing world hunger because I know that means anywhere I go in the world, I'm blessed. Yeah, man, I'm because you never really need nothing more. Exactly. You fly come to America, a man see up on the plane. I said, no, man, I'm not making sure pay no plane fare. And <laughs> people said, no, you're going to America, Jamaica, see a private jet here. You're coming to the airport. I said, no, you don't need a visa. Come here. Come to Hilton. You know, the money. I said, oh my gosh, she's here at the presidential suite. It's true. This is more than money. It's true. It's true. I, you know, if you're okay, I will just ask you one last question before we end. Yeah, man, go ahead, man. Um, because I really do enjoy speaking with you. And you're someone that I really could see speaking to all day because you just have so much knowledge. And when you have a chance, yeah. if you need to speak with people like yourself, I'm sorry. I have to just, you know, get as much for the people. But just for my own selfish question. And mm -hmm. I am into a lot of the things that you're speaking on today. Do you ever feel like us as a Black people, like how you speak on Columbus and their family, they're taking care of for generations and Rockefeller. Do you ever feel like there's actually ever going to be a day where America pays back and give back black people no. what they stole? No, because America is not black people land. Africa is black people land. You cannot be rewarded in the next month. So for those that, for those that say, because there's two different set of black people, the ones from Africa and the ones that were here who Columbus saw already when he came. Mm -hmm. Or where he claimed, when he claimed he discovered the land, there was a set of us already here. Do you think they'll ever, because that means their whole thing, in my opinion, will have to restructure textbooks. Yeah, that won't happen because America and a lot of other places in the world. Yeah. Just like Morocco. Yeah. If you see a Moroccan, Moroc Moroccans are Moroccans are. What if, I don't, I don't, I don't know, know what the, they are either, but I get what Morocco. you're saying. <laughs> the Morocco. Yeah. If you see Morocco, Morocco is in Africa, but if you see a person from Morocco, they say they're not Africans. They are Europeans. And Morocco is not Europe. Let me tell you, no. Morocco is, is not Europe. We're African. African. Yeah. We're not Africans. Yeah. Just like Ethiopia, a lot of people don't Ethiopians, a lot of Ethiopians don't classify themselves as Africans. They say they're not African, they're Ethiopians. You're in Africa, you're African. Yeah. Yeah. It don't it don't matter how light your skin be. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're you still are black people. You're just black people with different type of um chromosomes, you know, like we're the one Indian, race like, that can yeah. You know what I mean? So you have you have, you have a, a Negro, me a Negro, you know, um, uh, maroon, and they have darker color and darker color than you and Ray. Yeah. And with people with hair that don't curl, these Americans with little lighter and maybe them come across as white and lighter and them have this, but you're not, you're black people. Yeah. You feel like you're white, but white people tell us you're black. To remind you and tell them. You know what I mean, just mm -hmm. like Cubans, they're Puerto Ricans, them but them black. So in America, where Native Americans was here before, which is still black people. Yeah. The country America wasn't start them time then. Then you come and say Native Americans are rare, American never start be a bush and people are walk up and down and out and you know what I mean all of these things. So when the Europeans them come into America you now and come with them ideas and them see with the ideas and them exploit it and take it. Yeah. Them see a, a, somebody have built Native American have built something in the bush. Them say, all right, we can use this and build a bridge and them do what they are doing them use where and build up the place. But this is this is white people who you cannot get 
rewarded in any man home. Just like if you come on my yard, they cannot get rewarded in my house. Where you want to get rewarded and sleep with my woman and my pity them for call your daddy. And you feel going on my fridge and you feel just put on my clothes and you feel drive my car and you do what you do. Just, just think about it. You cannot be rewarded and be a king in any man home. So you come on my yard and say, yo, go out to sleep in the couch. I go sleep with your wife tonight. It's like that black people are asked white people to do. Exactly. Them not gonna do that. Yeah, it's true. Them won't do that. American is not for black people. I'm tired to tell them. So no matter how much we black the road, and no matter how much we seek, the system is not for us. You will never get justice from the system unless it's documented and recorded. You understand? It's not for us. You understand? If black people should turn around and start to kill black white people, the judgment and the scrutiny and, and, and how the media and the thing when they come out is judgmental and there's no option. There will be no quotas. I mean, no sermon. None of those things. You understand? It's because our official home is Africa and our official home was drained and robbed and raped. So we don't have the we have the, 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 the gold and the dime, all of those things, and those things was taken from us and take us and teach us different and all of these things and minerals and all of these things. So unless, as I say, eradicate ourselves and build up our place with our rules and our laws, our doctors and our teachers and our nurses and our policemen and our infrastructure what is going on in nigeria is still black people it's still white people regime yeah those things were started you know to kill a black bread and all of those things so yeah you understand so and that so this is white black it's not black people it's white people so you're not getting a compensate for it you get sorry already and that's the best them can <laughs> unless you go back yeah. And build your own thing and change the trade market and all of those things. And get white people out of our home. And if they might do not they must come and that's how you have your power. That's how you, you create your own movement. But you're in America with the system. It's like that. And as a black man, I don't know why we don't learn. As a black man, police stop you. And if you know that, when them turn on light and see a black man, the first thing come out of them out of profanity. Put your hand on the steering motor and start to... And you feel like, oh, America made the lies for me. You're going to be... Them, you're going to be dead. Yeah. yeah. Real talk. So you better put your pride aside, your ego aside, and comply and do, them, and do, and do it as best them self do. Yeah. Because you feel like you can rely upon the system. The system is for them. It's, it's built for See them. a white police lady. Yeah. White police lady leave work. She live on the third floor. Four or ten room. She's on her phone. This is her this is her statement. She was on her phone talking to her boyfriend or something like that. Yeah. And them have a dispute. So she, she was disoriented with conversation and emotional. Yeah. She pressed the wrong number. I don't know how you can press four and three. It's two different things that but you pressed the wrong number. Yeah. And you went to four or ten instead of three or ten. Mm. And went in that room and see the woman of that room and shoot him twice and kill him. Once you open the door, if you open anybody door and go into the room, you know it's not your place. Exactly. When you're going to the area, the difference. You see this man in a brief in a brief on coach. Different coach, you see, different TV, Everything. different settings. Yeah. Who oh, you don't know that? Yeah. And you kill a man in your home. And um mm-hmm. half 90% naked. And you get 10 years and the brother of the victim hook you up and say, God bless you. If it, if it was a black man do that, you get 100 years. Yep. If them can't prove and 
beyond reasonable doubt, you get 100 years or life without parole yep. or 25 to life. Yeah. You, your judgment would be different. Different. So you're not in a, you're not, you, you can't get justice right here. So it's unfair, yeah. but we more unfair to ourselves. We have to know that. So you will never get justice here. Yeah. You will never get justice here. It's been robbed and they use us against us. And we rob ourselves and we use us against us because a lack of knowledge and lack of education and whatever. Instead of control us, then give us English. English is not our language. Yeah, exactly. Black people should be speaking English. Exactly. exactly. If you're born in America, if you're born in Jamaica, he's a Jamaican. Yeah. If you're born in Canada, he's a Canadian. Yeah. If you're born in America, he's an African American. They must make sure put. Distinct. <laughs> Where, where ancestors them come from before America. Yeah. You come from Europe, he's a white man, you're born in America, he's an American. Them not a European American. It's true. It's American. The Native Americans have no rules and regulations, no talk here. So they expect. It's like you want to go in somebody else's room for rule, for rule it. It might sound harsh, but the reality. Yeah. So you're not getting a justice. More black people are dead and the system are going against more. More black people fears and we're going to see it on CNN and we're going to see it all over the world. And it's, going to, it's just going to be the same. And more people are dead and more people are dead and more people are dead and more black people and more black youth are going to kill more black youth and all of these things. So, so you go. Even rap game. Yeah. So much youth are dead now because everybody has seen how they will kill them one of those yeah. things. You know? If you notice a rap youth about him just go and jewelry store, put something on him neck and him have the money on him and show up on Instagram and go on them and friend them and him have to say, yo, man, I'll tell you we're going to pull up. Just tell me we pull up. We're going to kill them, baby. And end up, I see one of them and I shoot one of them and boom, him gone to the mall, gone to prison. Next. Him gone to the mall, gone to prison. Next. Him gone to the mall, gone to prison. So it's like that. It's just next and next and next and next. Once it now cross, once He's not a rapper, killer, rock and roll artist in school. It's, you ain't seen in that impact. You know, see now Justin Bieber, you know, see, you know what I mean? No, no, Ariana no. Grande, I try to kill. Yeah. You know, all of this. You don't see those things. Yeah. So once it don't cross the line, once a black or killer black, then it's fine. You understand? And then get those type of music here, they become the main streaming songs. Yep. Because mainstreaming songs. Yeah. Yeah. Because the white kids them have knowledge enough to know that they're not killing them, brother. Because they go to the best schools and they understand and teach. My aunt is I tell people about knowledge. I feel eradicate yourself. Yep. So they know that song is just a song for them. Exactly. But we don't know it's just a song. We just say our life. Yes, our life. Yes, our way live it. And we need to kill a person. We need to prove and we need to do that and we need to do that. Why? Why we need to do it? Exactly. When the whole way escaping poverty and the whole way escape and the whole way buy Gucci and the whole way buy Fendi and the whole way drive Benz and the whole way drive these. These things are destructions. Them Gucci and them Benz and them something and them one bag or something we sing about. And yeah, we put it in the music but we didn't really check it. Once your boss and a death so your main mental, main driven, you're this being focused, you're going to destructive. That's true. You understand? Yeah. Because once it's just that your solely purpose, you have to approve, you have to show people that this may have an attack. May have. Nobody now wear them ring here. And the next man will come up and say, oh, the boy I tried this man to fence to it. And the man set you up and it's disgusting. I mean, that's it. Yeah. It's 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 reality. Not to, you know make anyone feel down but it's it's real talk it's what's really happening in front of us so you're not telling anyone and it's happening. proven babes it's proven you know say a man step in a black man they can kill him yeah and the whole place march and bondong stores and loot and shoot and do this and do this a couple of days after brianna taylor boom dead march and do this yeah. do this and do this 
you kill a you kill Brianna Taylor, says so she associated with somebody that is that is wanted. Her. So you're killing people for association now. Exactly. When you have the law, and you can go and charge them. Charge. Exactly. Hmm? Yeah, you're killing people for that now. Exactly. While a black, white boy, white man step in a church and murder much people. And still get you stop up a Burger King and buy a meal. Come on, black people, no see this. If you don't, me don't, me can't tell you no more. Now. You need to see it. Why your eyes them closed? They don't see it. Yeah. So why you think you don't get justice in this place? The only reason why some black people get justice is because in America they have a camera everywhere, yeah. and they really they put up the camera mm. for benefit them, but it end up against them now. Yeah. And to everybody have smartphone, everybody just start records, so sure. videos is there. So people really are still what happened. See? A policeman, a man went to part of fight, like he must have two girls a fight. And he went to part of fight. Them called police. He was leaving the scene. Them said, stop. And him said, yeah. it's not me. Deal with them. Yeah. And in front of him, kids, a man put seven shots. Seven. It was a policeman put seven shots in front of him, three kids them. Yeah. In him head and him back and everything. Yeah. Him paralyzed now. Seven shots for a man when I have no gun. No and business. No in front of him kids. Yeah. Seven shots. Yeah. And those police still get suspension with pay. Exactly. It's disgusting. And the video is there. Exactly. Reverse that. In America, with a black man, and then you see how much you'd have get twenty five years for each bullet. Facts. You know what I mean, so you can't win. So if you just come to America and get your opportunities, the man try to build up some year thing and all about. Exactly. If a black man starts to get too rich and it's not a book, a lot of white people get rich and start a book in America, and IRS and a lot of people don't look on them. If a black man start to get rich and it's not documented, then IRS run in and them start to say put drugs and affiliated with this person and that person. And yeah, and soon and very soon that person will be charged with racketeering and other things and very, very rare. So I don't need to say no more. You don't, you don't. Seriously. It's it's you guys Octane, I Octane has given you guys so much knowledge, so much areas to grow, to listen. And when you have so much, in my opinion, so much fluff in the world, so much people just putting out shit to just put out shit, we have to value artists like yourself and people like yourself within the industry because... Yeah, and it's there. Me even feels it. Me even feels it there. I was in the... Um, the workout center, because we don't say gym anymore. <laughs> I was in the workout center and a white lady was coming there and see me. So I was doing, I was listening to a workout session on, the, on my phone yeah. and doing it. And she come and I was on the other side doing my shadow. And when she leaves, she make a report. Yeah, I can't stay in there. Man, that black guy, man, he's in there, man. He's too loud. You know, he was on his phone and he, He's not working out, and I, I was distracted. Even though Lady. she came in there and saw you. Lady, every workout center load, where are you from? Where is <laughs> it's like It's like almost 65, 80, going up to 80. Yeah. And you're still racist. Still a care that in you. Yeah. Come on. You're soon dead. Pa, give it up. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you do it. You don't know when I do it before. Exactly. See? And, I, and the next day you come, you see a next white man. And you do do the that. same thing. I listen. And he was fine with it. You work all day and you don't say nothing. Yeah. And you come today and see me. I reach at the door when you see me. I turn back. Yeah. And then you make report. But it's lucky. You see it? You make report, but it's lucky that I'm a star and they know that it's acting and very rare, rare. And they must say, okay, all right, good. And they must say, oh, lady, call her rare. And I said, well, watch by the tape. You know, you think already. And they say, oh, man, yeah, man, I said, I'm staying rare and think. 
if I was just a regular individual, maybe they would kick me out. Yep. In a, in a temperature which is like 20 degrees or something out there, they would say you have to leave. It's true. Because this white lady, you know, she's not comfortable and, you know, so you have to leave. No care if it's a platinum thing, you have to leave. But uh, that may I tell you, so as a black youth, you have to try put yourself on a level as much where if I even, your status can actually make people split justice for you. You know what I mean? So you have to just know that America is not for black people, or not for Puerto Ricans, or, or Mexicans, or, you know, you know, Philippines are all of them, any different denominations, not for a black, not for us. Yeah. Trump, Trump telling that himself. <laughs> he, don't need he made sure to let all y'all know <laughs> exactly him, what every one of the same, Every one of them are the same thing. He might just the brave, he might just the brave, braver one for actually say it. Yeah, yeah, what they're all really thinking. Very true. So, Octane, I want everyone to make sure to stream next. I won't say it's the newest song, but to stream next and make sure to keep having conversations about it because I really do love the messaging and the meaning behind it. And I will make sure to share, you know, everything with everyone so that they're able to understand the true meaning so nobody can say, oh, well, he said that. No. Out of your own mouth. Show me a woman forget this. <laughs> well, everyone. Yeah, next. Yeah. I act in Vivo. Remember, YouTube, I act in Vivo. And also, I act in TV. Just subscribe to the two channels. You know what I mean? Same thing. Instagram, real I act in. Mm-hmm. Follow me. Um, Twitter is the same thing. Follow me. Um, Activia. CTG. Vivo. That is active as CTG Vivo and Banks, the artist, you know, and Instagram active, a globe child, mm-hmm. and Instagram. So they type in active, a follower. Um, she's just the left one, she's good. good. Banks, same way. Rest of artist and Posh. Follow Posh with two H. Cryptic, the same thing. You know what I mean? So just look out for them artists there. And remember, say, someone to love. A competition is still, still on. I'm giving away a thousand US dollars plus hotel accommodation. Yeah. But I'm not buying a plane for so If you have a visa, I will pay for the hotel, but you have to find your own plane fare. <laughs> <laughs> so someone to love. If you get all of just listen to the song and create a video with your loved one. Yeah. Ladies, if you don't have no man, rent one. The man when don't have no woman, you can't help on with that. Yeah. But just be creative. Like a lady, just be creative with a teddy bear. You know what I mean? So yeah. the best creative video winner. So. Post it on your page because views, likes, and attraction, you know, and creativity make you win. Win. You know, so let's go on. We have, you don't know. Someone um, to love. Active a song on the same rhythm as next. You know what I mean? Our song name Escape, and then we have next. Mm-hmm. And the same rhythm, the video followed out. And just subscribe to my channel and listen to the song and share the song, them and it stinks. Because don't wait till my God and you say acting great. <laughs> don't. No. Don't. Do it now. Acting. Oh, yes. When I always do them things. Okay. Yo, you know, say so was a great youth and no. oh, Japan star. And then all of a sudden, yeah, you're at 97 player, 100 acting. Every station, every DJ. Yo, acting was a real youth. Yeah. Yeah, you're acting till yeah. your ears are bust out. So why you can't do it when I'm alive? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, for, sad to say already, my Virgin Ragin King get get shot and in the hospital and everywhere me go me hear Ragin King up there. Yeah. And as soon as him come out and him start to feel a little better, me not hear no more. Yeah. Continue. Consistency. Keep it going. Don't wait till you're dead before me. Give it the glory. Keep it going. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Octane, you know me, you don't know Jay Z. You know me, you don't know Jay Z, but you can still play a hundred Jay Z. Yeah. And play it free of a cast and just play it and say, This is music. So why why playing me come with a cast? 
Exactly. And you know me. You play a hundred Jake, you don't know Jake. You create a segment for Jake. Yeah. Yeah. While you play Jake, Jake streaming turn up. Well, you know me. Me, you turn to your DJ. You need something. You can't call Jake. Exactly. Where well, you play Jake more than me. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> Listen, I have nothing to say because you're saying it all so perfectly. Seriously. Seriously. Yeah. Seriously. I I hear on my platform and as I said, I'm going into almost five years doing it and not until, you know, people that were close to me see, oh, you reach a million, a million views, a million, then they want to come and be like, I always believed in what you wanted. It's like, no, you, you, <laughs> you, you understand the situation. So, you know, I definitely am learning that on my journey and thank you for just sharing so much positivity and real talk for everyone because this is what we need right now with covid pandemic everything going on in the world i feel like more and more we need to get out the fake and the real needs to stay and hold value because yep Yep. no and don't and don't afraid to lose Mm. don't afraid to lose because you might you might lose what you think is the most important thing in your life, but that was your blockage to reach your glory. The Almighty won't bless you unless the universe who don't believe in God. God won't bless you unless you have space to receive the blessing. So if your life congested and you wonder how many are getting a blessing, remove some things. For example, you want to buy a new car and every morning you have your old car in the garage. You will never buy a new car because you don't have the space to put it. Because you're not going to buy a new car and put it outside because it can't park on the road. But you're not going to let go the old car. So you're always procrastinating for buy a new car. But you're not do it because you have to get rid of the old one out of the garage. So when you wake up a morning and you see the space, so you know you have to put something in the space. So not for we won't get blessing because our life don't have no space to receive it. So make some space. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Like, yeah. <laughs> I just wanna, I'm giving it room to breathe out because that's it right there. Too much congestion. Yeah, some space. yeah create some space, space for your blessings. Yes. That's a perfect way to end it. So, everyone, I Octane, thank you. This has been an amazing, epic episode for downtown. And you guys remember, don't waste no time with negativity. I Octane has given you numerous examples of how to execute that within your life. It's full of choices. Changes are inevitable. Reality is inevitable. But when you contain and be consistent and I want to say everything again, but you know, when you just apply all of the real things to your yeah. life in that way and you live a pure life, pure things will happen and great things will happen for you. So, honored. Thank you so much, I Octane. And is there any last um, words or anything you want to leave everyone with before we end it today? Well, um, before I leave, I want to I want to say to a lot of people that um and this is and this is a concept and this is the idea that comes to me earlier. I should record it before from a meditation corner, but I never get a chance because I was kinda busy and doing some things today, but I will share it with you guys. Um a lot of people out there, including myself and you. We're always, we're always blaming people like when they turn against us and them do a lot of things. And yes, they should be blamed, but you have to blame yourself more because there is no friendship in the world that was started by force, like a man put a gun in and say, I feel be my friend. You choose those type of friends. So when you choose and burn your bridges and turn against you, there's no one to be blamed. You're just a bad judge of character. So you choose those people. 
right? So a lot of people out there, them life smooth. So you choose friends according to how your life a progress. But always remember, so life is like a plane, right? You will never go on a plane. Who we'll never travel yet when you travel? You can never go on a plane and don't have turbulence. That plane can never fly for 20 minutes and the plane don't shake. If you don't get no turbulence, you'll get sizzler. So something that they wait by you. Yeah. See? So if you're flying like an hour flight, at least five minutes or three minutes was a turbulence. A lot of people, life is like that. So a lot of people build them life upon the smooth part of the flight. Mm. And when the plane get turbulence and start to shake, that's your life when you reach the ditches and where you never plan for that. Because you never, you think life you don't have obstacles. You never plan for that. Mm. So true, you build all your life on that smooth part, and you get your friends on a smooth part. And when the rough time comes, everybody turn. You blaming people, blame yourself. Yeah. People them that turn on you don't use to this. Them don't have to come with you in that rough part. So you need to build your life and build your surrounding around people. And different type of people for different type of reason. Understand? Yeah. And when a rough time comes, then you start to judge off some people where you never look at and turn to some people with help, and then you expect them to do it. So you have to be careful. Don't build your life and don't expect no complication. You have to expect complication. And your expectation of people should be low. We have to start too high. <laughs> Start we from are. the ground. We are. Yes. Yeah. You just meet me and your expectation of me is 100%. Yeah. Every time I feel it drop, you know, grow, make it grow. Start from the ground. That is so true. Make me cause you say you know, rate me. That is so true. Make me say, yo, man, you know, rate me. I make it grow. No, oh. me start here. So the once I go here, so there's no, there's no going up and down here. Yeah. The only thing go up and never come down is the age. I think that I think that word was for me. I always, when I meet people, I'm always like here, and I need to give them room to you grow. You're gonna feel like everybody's a human being. Exactly. Everybody has flaws. Exactly. The expectation of people should be low, very low, low, low. Start low, yeah. and make it grow. Yeah. You understand, so so we may have to stay. Bless up. Good night. Don't don't do tone. Don't waste no time with negativity downtown. <laughs> Don't waste no time with negative. Oh, that's abbreviation. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Don't waste no time with negativity. Nice. Thank All right. You. Bless up yourself, princess. Um, you have the sun.